Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. It's been a few minutes since we put a video in here. I'm gonna put a short video in here, hopefully to help some of you guys. We are gonna make a smoke machine to check vacuum leaks in an engine for less than $10. That's right, less than 10 bucks. It will take you longer to get it out of the box than it will be to make this vacuum smoke leak detector. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've been chasing a vacuum leak on this uh, 04 Mustang GT we've been working on. And I'm usually pretty good about hearing a vacuum leak. Um, my eyes ain't what they used to be, but my ears are still pretty good. And I used to pride myself on being able to find a vacuum leak. This car has a vacuum leak. It's got high idle, stumbling idle. Sometimes it seems like I can hear it, but with all this stuff covering the engine and all the vacuum lines, I just can't seem to find it. So guys, I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up this uh, multi-use transfer pump. And uh, this is the pump. And here's the hose that it comes with. And then it comes with some additional fittings and uh, some more hose and some, some smaller hose. So uh, this, this is what I'm gonna use. Um, we're gonna take, I've already cut the hose. I cut a small piece of hose off here with my uh, cutting blade. And this is the side that uh, brings the air in and it and it uh, pushes it out this way. So it comes in here, pushes it out. And I'm not a smoker, but I bought these Swisher Sweets for 99 cents. There's supposed to be two of them in here. And I told the lady, I said, hey, uh, I want the ones with the plastic tips. And she said, okay. I said, well, I'm not a smoker. I don't know which ones have it and which ones don't. Well, she must not be a smoker either because <laughs> these don't have the plastic tip, but I think they'll still work. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take our um, cigar. We're gonna put it in here, light it with a lighter. We're gonna pump it a little bit and get it going. And then we're gonna go over there and we're gonna take this in, plug it into our intake, and we're gonna pump this back and forth and it's gonna draw the air, which in turn is gonna draw the smoke and it's gonna blow it out and it's gonna go into the intake. We're gonna see if we can figure out where our leak is at. All right, let's try this. All right, I found me a vacuum port here right on the back of the intake. You can see right there where I found me a vacuum port. Okay, I've got the cigarette all lit. The only downfall to this is this stinks, especially if you don't smoke. If you're not a smoker, it smells pretty rough. So, yeah, we're gonna pull the pump up and down, and that's gonna draw the air in. All right, guys, as you can see, I don't wanna get this too close to the engine, but as you can see, we're putting some air, we're putting some smoke. Now, I'm gonna hold it away from the car so the ashes fall on the floor. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Right here, look. What do we got? What do we have? All right, guys. We've got smoke coming from right, right underneath there. Took the cigar out and put it out but guys we've got smoke coming from under here somewhere all right i'm gonna pull this intake tube off and see what we can see underneath guys see the smoke 
Can you see that smoke still, still present? Yeah, smoked it up pretty good. There's a good bit of smoke in there. So it stinks, especially if you're not a smoker. Uh, it really stinks pretty bad. And of course, you'll probably smell like cigarette smoke when it's over with, but at least you didn't spend the price of one of those expensive smokers. Let's see what we can find. All right. A lot of smoke down in there. So it done its job. There's a rubber hose here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Looky there. Would you look at that? Wow, that's a that's a pretty good size hole in that elbow. And this tube, that is a major, major intake uh, port. Ooh, that thing, I gotta get out of that smoke, guys. That thing's still, that thing's still bellering out smoke. Man, so right here, this is a major, this is a major, major vacuum port that runs over to the, what I believe is the PVC, but look at that hole. I'm almost willing to bet, guys, this is where the smoke was coming from, right here. And that is where my vacuum leak is at. So, all right, guys. So, that's a cheap way of, uh, you can see the smoke still, still coming out. That's a cheap way uh, to smoke test your engine. It's cheap. It stinks. But, as you can tell, it's very effective. I seen no smoke coming out of anywhere else on the engine. I had smoke coming out from under here. So, yep. Ooh, yep. So, all right, guys. That's how you uh, make you a cheap smoke uh, tester for your engine. Just make sure that you hold your cigar outside. Nowhere where anything will catch on fire. No gas or anything like that, of course. You guys, you guys know. Hold, hold it over your car where, you know, your ashes are falling on the floor and you can put the cigar out. But yeah, other than you smelling slightly like cigarette smoke, which will wash off, this kit, this kit, these were 99 cent. This was $7.99 from Harbor Freight. Tax and all, what do we have? 10, 10 bucks maybe? All right, guys. So there's your cheap way to make you a smoker for your engine for a leak test. All right, guys, I hope you all are having a good one. See you in the next video.